My face almost expanded too far. I don't even know what my face did. It's time for another beatbox video! Beatbox video! Still haven't got an email from Sosa. I'm so, so disappointed. But nothing in this world is just handed to you. You have to, you have to go for it. So maybe I'll send a follow-up email. But I was looking through you guys' comments and just, you know, seeing what you guys were saying was the best thing to react to next. And it looks like the 2021 battle of Helium versus Inertia is the winner. And I'm gonna look at it from a music production perspective, whatever the hell that means. With these beatbox videos, I'm learning. But I do make fire music. In fact, I have an album coming out on April 15th. You should pre-save it. Link in the description. But before we get on to this video, we gotta thank our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring this video. I think you know by now, Raid Shadow Legends is the most badass mobile game out there. And you can play it on PC too, if you're if you're a pc -er. But when you play it, it's intense. You have to use strategy, using that taking turns type of fighting style. Kinda like Final Fantasy, which was one of my favorite games of all time. And that's why Raid Shadow Legends brings a true console level experience right to your phone. But I think a lot of people, and me included, just love the champion selection in this game. I started off with the High Elf Kale when I first started playing, and I thought I was the man. But then as I expanded, I learned that there's a lot of champions. <laughs> Over 600 champions. Like this chick with the low cut, Battle Sage. Not only does she look amazing, but she can also increase attack buffs for all your allies. And as hard as the enemy tries, they can't remove those buffs. Which is perfect like when you're in the spider den, for example. Fighting against those giant spiders and they're, they're, just, they're just trying to poison debuff you. Not convinced yet? Okay, well how about Astralon? He falls in the legendary category and uh, for good reason. He's a beast, look at him. He's, he's got two glowing swords. If you like to play arena in raid, this, this is your guy right here. What's cool about him is if you team him up with the champion Countess, then his default tack is literally a team up every time and it, it's almost just not fair at that point point. and remember the enemy buffs I was talking about Astralon can remove all buffs from enemies so he's he's a cheat code and then we're on to Roxam Roxam I had to do it another legendary champion and Roxam is a he's, he's the perfect assassin since his skills are all tied with veil and perfect veil buffs it makes it really hard for enemies to actually attack him I'm telling you these legendary champions are it's not fair and as someone who's played a lot of video games I hate stuns I hate sleeping I don't do that to me the great thing about Roxam he has defense against all that and these are just names picked out of a hat there's 600 champions you can support this channel by clicking the link in the description to download the game or support this channel by using the QR code right here in the corner this is my favorite part of doing this and if you click the link in the description or scan the QR code right here you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30 that includes a free epic champion Burgess 200k silver one energy refill one XP boost and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game and the champions are awesome we went over this all this treasure will be waiting for you right here on your home screen in Raid Shadow Legend and all of these rewards will only be available for the next 30 days and only for new players I know you've been putting off playing this game don't do it any Longer. I was just in Denver shooting music videos and on the flight this came in handy. Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the madness. <laughs> you guys are weird. This McDonald's bag is in the way of my second monitor. Give it up for King Inertia. Ah! Give it up for Helio. Ah! Amazing picture. Let's go. Inertia, do you want to go first? Or second. Second. Smart man. This is the finale. Okay. And these are two heavy the hitters, right? In attendance, tens of thousands watching online for the last A little bit more than that. Oh, it's live stream. My bad. Nice to be here. Okay. We're going with a fast tempo right off the bat. Bro, the, the, my guy is goaded with the face expressions. I always say this. But those clean kicks in between these snares. Doosh, doosh, doosh. But in between the... Doo, boo, 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 boo. It almost has like a tom roll type of sound to it. Like on a drum set, you know? Like... Crazy. And to have mouth clicks in there. Ooh. Pitch bend. My guy was about to explode. I think what's impressive to me about this is these little bass notes that he's like sneaking in there. So in between this crazy fast drum pattern, in between, he's got the the I can't do it, but I think it's an inward bass sound he's making in between, just like little ones here and there. Like that's very detail oriented.
Each sound is getting the attention it deserves. Ooh, there it is. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, is he gonna go halftime? He could. Boom. Bum, bum, bum. Alex Sinio. I'm gonna do it for you, bro. This is a dunce cap. Oh, no, nah, we're staying fast. Damn. The control. Each kick and snare is just so crisp. And that's Extremely God. fast. Alright, so here's the thing, right? Yeah, but damn, he wasted no time. Okay, unless that's the way the edit was. <laughs> to me, what I think is going to be a differentiator here is I feel like it's going to be two completely different styles. You know what I mean? Like Helium's impressive point was definitely his speed and being able to have control over all those sounds. It's such crisp fashion with that type of pace to what he was doing. King Inertia, at least from clips I've seen, that doesn't seem to be his style, right? His seemed to be a lot more bouncy and a little bit slow in a much more slower pace so let's see especially if his uh they, they call him the king of inward bass or whatever or they said something like that in the intro so i'm guessing he wants something that has those kind of bass melodies wrapped into it a little bit more and the drums aren't really the big star the bass is so let's see what's up i'm dying this is it Switch. oh we do go right into it See, I'm already bouncing. Oh. Oh, it sounded like the snares were pitching up. I know the bass drop is about to happen, but it sounded like the snares were being pitched up like... But that's not really what was happening. The snares were just intertwined with the bass note pitching up slowly, like bending up the pitch a little bit. So it like tricked me into thinking the snares were doing the same thing. It was weird. Bro, it hits so different. I saw this in the top 10 drops, but hearing it with everything here is just crazy. Ooh. My face almost expanded too far. I don't even know what my face did. I gotta wait to see <laughs> what I just did on video. Bro, how did you do that? How did you make that like, the alligator synth type sound, bro. I almost did it again. It's disgusting. Oh, little tease at the fast pace. Bro, I called it too. I said his would be more bass oriented and slower. The stunt, bro, he looks like he's cold. Bro, those are like scratch type sample sounds. I'm starting to understand now. Wait, so is that, correct me if I'm wrong here. I'm not afraid to look like an idiot. Clearly, I do it every day. Is that the counter that you guys were talking about? Like you take what somebody else did and you kind of just flip it into your own? Kind of, is that the counter? Is that what he did there? His was like way more subby. Bro, we didn't see any of his bass skills, really. Hold on, no, 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 we gotta play that back. The first round, or whatever you want to call it, from Helium, we didn't hear like any of the bass skills really. And then he just like, it's like, he was like, oh, I could do that. Like, no problem. Here it is. And it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the stutter. Yeah. 
Interesting how there's not a lot of breath left when you do that for the snares. Like, those are tough to get out, I can tell, when he's doing that super low bass. That is a fire melody. That was a super harsh open hat there. Bro, he's like firing back at him with his bass skills. That is so dope to see. Inertia versus Kim Helios. And then he goes back to his bread and butter of the fast pace. So it's almost like he adapted his style a little bit. He, he doesn't have as much distinct bass sounds, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, the speed is dumb. It's ridiculous. It's not really my thing. The speed isn't really my thing, but... That was crazy. I I'm impressed by it though, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm amazed by it. But I'm much more of a fan of like the... bouncy stuff. What are we doing now? The mix from the low octave to the mid octave. Like, mm, okay. The bass has so much attitude. This is a human. Damn, they always make like mosh fits for this guy. Be straight. I think people are hyping it up a little bit. Well, he made me eat my words. Now it's gotta bounce. mixes in these super high octaves it's in it's inhumane it is inhumane how does he and he's like he's like clipping with his volume like his distortion and that's what you want with that type of super gritty in your face type of production right you want that to have like a little distortion to it be in your face he's like pushing just the perfect amount of volume so it has a distortion effect to it just with his voice <laughs> Exactly. I need water and I'm not even performing. And that's time. That's a flex. Leaving time on the clock. It's like I didn't even need the extra time. I did what I needed to do. This is a tough one, man. Like helium can't do that. Like I feel like King Inertia is the only one who could do those sounds. So how do you judge this? Before we go to the judges. That is so tough. I guess Helium, I guess, would probably get it. But I feel like they both tapped into their strengths. One with speed. The last battle of the evening. One Only with the one inward base. I'm scared. I'll say the three, y'all say the two and the one. Crowd in three. I'm scared. Give it up for Inertia. Mmm. Do you guys think that was like a clear cut winner? Like when you guys watched this for the first time, did you like know that was a clear cut Give it up for inertia. Kill win for inertia? <laughs> I just noticed my guy was undecided too. And they look like, yo, that they look like that was such a hard thing for them to do, to choose. That's what I love to see. I love when judges are put in a tough position to choose who wins. Fire. Someone tell So So to email me so I could uh, buy some merch from him. That was fire. Make sure to pre-save me and Crip's album, The Sky Is Red, drops April 15th. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Nada.
Thank you for watching this video. If you guys could do me one more favor and pre-save or pre-order this crazy album I have coming out April 15th with Crypt. It's called The Sky Is Red. That'd mean a lot. Link in the description and pinned comment. Love you guys. Not a time. I don't really care about that.